Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Pillars of Eternity. I'm your host, Color Shade Sipso 28. We said we were going to go confront Lord Gatterman. He's in Brackenberry. He's wearing kind of a flashy red getup. My apologies for the videos mm -hmm. taking a little bit of time off. Here, did fall kitty. ill Come on, for about a week. Yeah, I wasn't real bad. But it was enough to make my voice not be able to record very well. So let's see what this guy's going to say. Lord Gatter. How do you do? Welcome to Brackenberry. How may I be of service? I know of your involvement with the Rebel of Stars. You what? A sheen of sweat appears on his smooth forehead. Oh, gods. Look, I know it sounds heinous, but please hear me out. Tell it to Dunreed Row. Turning you in. Do what you feel you must. But I won't see my family's name dragged through the mud. Before you can react, Gadaman flips back the bezel of a large engraved ring. He throws his head back and tosses the contents into his mouth. No sooner does he swallow than he pitches forward, clawing at his throat as his mouth gapes in silent agony. Within seconds, he is dead. Oh, well. And all we get is a little coin for that. Hmm, okay. So Dunreed Row, let's see. House Domino. Sanitarium. Hadrid House. It's Hadrid House, right, that we have to go to? Let's find out. Dunreed Row Cipher. Return to Curran at the Hadrid's Hadrid House in Brackenberry. Okay. It has been a hot minute because of that week off. So I've already forgotten where some things are. That's what you get for playing 800 games all at the same time. Let's see. Was he upstairs or was he down? Kieran, yes, right there. Hail and well met. I found the missing people. Yes, you've been all over Defiance Bay since we last spoke. His alert eyes search you. What did you find? Hmm, yes. <laughs> Uh, a lot, actually. A woman named Lundala has been staging performances in which actors are murdered. Lord Gatterman is one of her most prominent patrons. Curran hisses. Something big. I knew it. Send my men after them right away. Things got messy, I'm afraid. Curran's brow furrows. Most unfortunate. No doubt they could have enlightened us with many intriguing connections. We'll just have to gather what we can from any remains you've left. You've been a resourceful investigator, and your shrewdness has helped to resolve a most troublesome case and saved many lives, I'm sure. It was worth it to put a stop to these heinous crimes. I appreciate your zeal. Take this as payment for your services. Thank you for your generosity. Ooh, 3,000 copper. Thank you for your help. Neither Dunreed Row nor I will forget this. Okay, so that one's done. Well then. We have many, many other quests here. We need to go see about... Okay, there's this. The Salty Mast and Ondra's Gift. Don't want to worry about the Siege of Cragholds. There's the Theorems of Panagram. That's not the one I'm really worried about. Speak to Agosti at the Valian Embassy, Pelagina. Okay, let's go see that one. The Valian Embassy. Are they in First Fires or, or Andra's Gift? Hold on. In First Fires. Okay, I love that they do that. They put that on there. So you don't have to, like, take your own notes. Anytime video games make it so I don't have to take my Never own notes. Never before have I met an Adiran man so hesitant to speak his mind. I'm not hesitant. I just, uh, like to consider my words carefully. <laughs> you should really hear yourself talk, Amigo. Anytime a game makes it so that I don't have to make my own notes and keep an Excel spreadsheet because it has a really good question. That is a big win for me. Okay, first fires. 
Crucible Keep, the Ducal Palace, the Veiling Embassy. Let's go over here. Gaffold the Drunk had returned to Deerford to much hostility, but was able to defuse the situation thanks to your help. Oh, let's see. Thanks to your help, he was able to pay off his debts. Well then, the Weaver's Song. I need to assign someone to this. Okay. Let's assign you, my friend. There's a prestigious visitor. Alright. And then what are we building? Completed, completed, completed. Purchase, purchase, purchase. Finish in 16 hours. The Baddocks. Okay. All I do like the way this works. Nowhere. Shut up, Durance. You're such a pain in the ass. Uh, you and Haddam could sit down and have the best time in the world drinking a mug of beer and bitching non-stop until all the other patrons in the bar got up and pounded your face into the sand. Both of you guys. What is it with clerics? Priests? I don't get it. Why do they always have to be made into just miserable characters? I mean, I'd be miserable if I had to be a priest too, so maybe I should understand a little better. Okay. What do we have here? Want to talk to this person? Ambassador Agosti. I would speak with you on a matter of some urgency and great importance. Sighing as though remembering some heavy burden, Vincent crosses his arms before replying. Bellagina, this is the same matter we previously discussed. I doubt I would be able to convince any more easily. Ambassador, I implore you to take a step back and look at this again. Ambassador Agosti holds up his hand and cuts Pelagina off in a strident tone. Enough! We're not going over Defiance Bay's animancers again. The Duke's Bell's desires have not changed since last we spoke. If you haven't heard, word of your insubordination has already found the ears of the Duke Sessa of Biachepa and the Duke of Salona. There are murmurs that you cannot be trusted to fulfill your duties. Must this talk reach the shores of Sperento? Pelagina's aggressive demeanor drains to a state of shock and worry, but she remains silent. Hmm. If it makes any difference, Ambassador, I'm already looking into the manners Pelagina has spoken of. It doesn't. But it would be fortuitous if your investigation took you to Twin Elms. Because that's where Pelagina needs to go. What is it the Dukes need of me, Ambassador? The Deerwood's instability has created an opportunity for us to take over their trade with Air Glanfath. We will need to meet with the Glanfath and soon to secure upcoming trade arrangements. The roads to Twin Elms can be dangerous, of course. But that's why you'll be our representative there. It's Josie, Ambassador. But won't this provoke the dear Woodins? Their country is falling apart, and we are already dividing up their trade alliances. Provoke them into what? Going to war? Through no fault of the Republic's, Deerwood's armies have been deprived of an entire generation of soldiers. It would be foolish not to take advantage of the situation. If we don't, the Raid Sarans will. Hmm. Well, it does make sense. The Deerwood has problems, and sooner or later, someone's going to profit from it. Madiko. When I walked in here, I didn't think we were going to be talking about how to chop up the Deerwood's corpse. It's still a corpse. What are you going to do? Vincent holds up his hand to set Pelagina at ease. That's not what we're talking about. This is just business. Pelagina. Go to Twin Elms. Speak to that Anamenfath. Impress upon her the instability of the Deerwood and reassure her of the Valen Republic's desire for open, safe trade. Of course, Ambassador. The Ambassador nods and smiles paternally. He then looks to you. I know you planned an investigation, this crisis, investigating this crisis together, but I hope you understand Pelagina's responsibilities. Of course, we all have our duties to attend to. Excellent. Now then, if you'll excuse me. All right. Be gone. Could have Thanks. gone better. Could have gone worse. 
Not that you helped put up much of a fight. <laughs> What's to fight? You have your orders and you're already in trouble with the dukes. I know, but it's still frustrating. I've spent enough time moping anyway. Now I just need to figure out how to get to Twin Elms before the ambassador loses his patience. Still, I fear that making this deal with the Glen Fathens will further weaken the Deerwood and make trouble for the Republics in the years to come. <laughs> oh, well. It's a long way to Twin Elms. You have plenty of time to think it over on the way. Verus. Oh, and we made levels. I'm very easily being distracted by things today. Pause the game and it took like a half an hour break while recording this video. Darius has got enough experience to level up. We're going to get him to survival level 6 so he can get bonus damage versus flanked enemies. Because he's an offense boy. And then here is where we're leveling up level seven cypher and this is where we're going to want going between so an ally superficially takes on the form of a spirit their movement is increased and many incoming crits hits and grazes are converted to less severe result so it's a nice thing to put on a dare if he's main tanking a boss type of mob and then the other one that's really i mean there's a bunch of good choices here uh, body attunement <coughs> And certainly weapon focus uh, soldier at the next level would be good. Body attunement, let's see. This is damage reduction, which you can steal from, from an enemy for 21 seconds, modified by our intelligence score, of course. Uh, but what we really want is this one. I like pain link is also really good. 25% damage reapplied to nearby enemies over 25 seconds. Puppet master, which is a full dominate, which allows them to use um, more of their special abilities once you dominate them, so it's also really nice. But Ecto Psychic Shield, this is a rebounding wave of psychic feedback between the Cypher and an ally that causes crush damage to enemies caught in between. So it's crush damage, which a lot of things are not resistant to, and it's one of our link things. But instead of linking with an enemy, we link it with a friend, and then we run around, and it creates that line between you and your friend. And anything caught in between is going to take damage. So, really nice spell to have for Adair. Let's take a look at him. He's got athletic second for his second wind. His survival. We want to get damage reduction too for him now, so he'll get that. And then vigorous defense, what is this? Fighter becomes fiercely determined to deflect all incoming blows, dramatically increasing defense for a short time. Plus 20 to all defenses for 15 seconds. Okay. Armored grace, no, don't really want to deal with that. Unbending guardian stance, plus 10 deflection, but it gets minus 10 accuracy. It increases deflection of all nearby allies. Okay. That's nice. Overbearing guard. No, not really worried about that. The fighter's disengagement attacks have increased accuracy damage and will knock enemies prone. No, not so much. Clear out. Sweeps the fighter's melee weapon in a large arc, knocking enemies prone and causing crush damage. Ooh, I kind of like that. Discipline barrage. Plus 20 accuracy for 15 seconds. Ooh. Unbending. 50% of damage taken converted to healing over time. Oh, yeah. Three per rest. This is really nice. Okay. I remember this one. This converts all income. Half of incoming damage is converted to healing over time. That's nice. Yeah. I think I want that right now. Let's go unbending. Let's grab that. Yeah. The, I've said it before in previous episodes, but one of the things that I didn't learn correctly the very first time I played through the game is I went all defense with Adair and you can't do that. He has to have some offensive abilities to hold aggro. It makes it so much nicer for fighting the dragon slayer. She's got survival there. So let's give her athletics to get her endurance to get this up. She's got survival too. And then what are we looking at here for her? Take a look at my list. Yeah, and she gets a really nice passive here at level 7. Coordinated attacks, plus 10 accuracy granted to an ally attacking the same target. It's just passive. So anybody that's attacking what she's attacking, 
are gonna do that. I like that a lot for her. Then everybody else will have to wait. Sure. So we have that. Now let's look at the quests. Travel with Adair to the records archive. In the archive in the Ducal Palace. Alright. The Ducal Palace. Up here, let's go to the records archive and see what we can find. Other people will be leveled up in a bit. It's that's the weird thing about this game is how everybody doesn't. I say weird. Every game does it differently. But I'm so used to playing games like Kingmaker now, where everybody gets experience in the same way and levels up at the same time. That was what was weird about second edition Dungeons and Dragons that the first two Baldur's Gate games were made on is that every class gets experience differently. So then it gets really weird if you're multi-classing. For instance, if you're playing an elf that can multi-class between fighter and a mage, a mage earns levels, I think, either faster or slower than a fighter, obviously, one or the other, because they weren't the same. So you would make a fighter level, then, then your wizard level, then a fighter level, then a wizard level. Thieves leveled really fast. So you could end up with a weird mishmash of levels in your party. What? Sidley. Okay, the young woman wears a simple but well-tailored uniform. She watches the comings and goings around her with quiet attention. Any news to share, or are you just here to see the Ducal Palace? Hmm. Who are you? I'm a page. I deliver messages and run errands for the Duke and his advisors. The pay is not great, but I can't think of a better introduction to politics. Looking for news? Not really. I need to go to the records archive. Wherever that is. Header, please. Oh, okay. Records of the Saints' War. Uh, we were here, records keeper. Hello! I'm looking for militia records from the time of the Saints' War. I'm trying to find out what happened to someone. We've had a number of inquiries about such information. I'm afraid we've had to bar access to the public. Seems there are still quite a few number of people in the Deerwood who bear ill will towards Raid Serens. It would be irresponsible to surrender their names to just anyone. Many came to settle here as refugees. Perhaps if you were more established in Defiance Bay, things would be different, but I have no reason to suspect you would be any different from the others. I take what I want. In the Duke's palace, I can assure you that you do not. Besides, without my assistance, you'd be sifting through scrolls for years. We've come a very long way. I just need to find out about my brother. I don't even know what side he fought for. You must understand, I have heard many such stories. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do for you. So, the record keeper was unwilling to show us records, citing concerns. He said things might be different if my reputation in the city is stronger. Oh, really? Well then, we need to go work for the city. Let's see what we can do here to remedy that situation, shall we? Okay. So, time and tide. Find the ruins beneath Cadnos. Spend some time with Durant. The master below is the endless paths. Add your arch in the wood. Pelagina needs to go there. Let's see. Nedin, an animancer I met in front of Backenberry Sanitarium, needs the theories of Pandagram. The Elder Archives are hidden in the Hall of Revealed Mysteries, which is in Copper Lane. Okay. That sounds like something so we can do. So those feathers, that's a blessing of Helia? So they say. Well, that's lucky. Where I'm from, we see a feathered lady. We start worrying maybe her dad got frisky with his hands. I guess you can always trust a farm boy's head to go there first. <laughs> ah, Pelagy. All right, Copperly. Maybe we can get a night's rest while we're here. Hello, kitty cat. My kitty cat has showed up. Scrivener's Dormitory, the Catacombs, the Hall of Revealed Mysteries. Well then. Onward. I'd wager there are more than a few banned books in here. Maybe. 
Bexa, welcome to the... You. You're welcome to browse the stacks, but mind that you keep your voice down. This is still a temple, after all, and Grimda doesn't tolerate disorder. Temple? Looks like a library. <laughs> it's because it is. Whale is the god of mysteries and answers, encryption and decryption, concealment and revelation. She raises her hands to the rows of shelves. Its guidance comes from the understanding of the unknown and the protection of hidden knowledge. The Hall of Revealed Mysteries was built to celebrate that. That didn't really answer my question. Yes, it is a library of sorts. Temples dedicated to whale tend to hold vast stores of knowledge. We use that knowledge to unravel and preserve the mysteries of the world. Anything else? Who's Grimda? He's the High Archivist. She's one of the most accomplished scholars alive today. Nothing goes on here without her knowing about it. Almost nothing, anyway. We should probably tread lightly around her today. Okay. You say so. Well, then. What's in the... Oh, no. That looked like a... I'm gonna steal things. Is that the... Stelio? Signal there? Yeah. Priest of Whale. This looks like a Neverwinter Nights 2 icon. Okay. Who's this person? Grimda. Hello. You're welcome to look around, but let the priests and scriveners continue their research. Wouldn't do to give them any other excuses. Hmm. What are they looking for? Maybe I could find it. And I could trust you to bring it back, I suppose. She scowls at the robed priests again. You certainly couldn't do worse than this lot, anyway. Thieves made off with an ancient scroll of whale. They intend to blaspheme by selling that which should remain hidden, a secret, the hundred visions. The guards caught one of them, but were overzealous in their interrogation. All they could piece together was something about a farmhouse and the road to Deerford. Track the thieves down. I don't care what you do with them, but bring back the scroll. Whale rewards the persistent seeker, and so do I. What else do you need? An animancer named Nedian asked me to retrieve the theorems of Pandogram from the Elder Archives. Grimda's impression frown deepens. Impressive frown. Thank you for letting me know. I'll be sure to tuck that tome away from prying eyes and see that this Nedian never sits foot in here again. In the meantime, here, token of our appreciation. All right. Well, if we go retrieve this stolen scroll, maybe she'll give me what she wants. Oh, and our man here is leveled up. Okay, Aloth is leveled up. Well then. Survival, I can't do any more for lore. Probably should have some points in athletics so he can heal a little better. All right, what do you got, buddy? You got confusion for a short amount of time. Dimensional shift. Leaving a shockwave between them that stuns all caught in the line of fire. Switches the locations of the caster and one ally. Oh, yeah. The caster and one ally. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Essential Phantom. Creates a ghostly double of the caster, causing shock damage to enemies that hit it. Flame Shield. Iron Skin. Transmutes the caster skin into iron. Engulfs the caster in fire. Concussive Missiles. Arcane Reflection. Creates a field of arcane energy around the caster, causing hostile target spells up to third level to be reflected back. Gives the caster access to up to three free third or lower level spells from the target's wizard, druid, or priest spell list. The wizard can subsequently cast those spells an unlimited number of times for the duration. Oh, that's interesting. Wall of Flame. That's a good one. That's a really good one. Pull of Aora is also good. Black Sphere that draws on by enemies toward it each time it pulses. That's that's a really good one. I want that and Dimensional Shift, I think. Let's do that. Is that there's, he's got so many good spells that could turn him into essentially a fighter mage if they were actual buffs that could stay on. 
<laughs> like you could probably cast about eight different things all at once and turn him into a juggernaut. But since they have sh short lived duration, like 39 seconds here, that it doesn't really work. So it's almost like you could make a fighter mage in this game, but not quite. You're better off just playing a cypher if that's really what you want to do. The Weaver song completed. Connor returns with 768 experience and a cloak. Okay. A cloak. Well, in that case, we should probably get... Let's go to the Goose and Fox and get a night's rest and then head out. Because at the end of the night, we should be really close to finishing... The barracks. I do like the way that the keep is handled here. Oh, jeez. We got some dudes coming. Okay. Alright, let's see here. What is it? Alright, you're gonna go after this guy. Oh no, you're gonna go after this guy. Hit him. I dare knock this and you get this now. Unbending. Ooh. This is gonna be cool. Go for this guy. Hmm? I want you to painfully interdict all these fools. Yes. We're gonna. Yeah, let's do this. Land it right there. <laughs> That'll be fun. Pelagina, sworn enemy. Who's the toughest guy here? An assassin, an assassin, an assassin. They're all just general assassins. Um. Go ahead and nail this guy. Hmm. And I am going to try to... What do I want to do first? Hmm. Uh, do I want to grab some Psycho Vampiric Shield? Probably. Let's do that. Okay. I got my Psycho Vampiric Shield. Alright. You're hitting that guy. Mm. I'm going to try to charm someone. Let's whisper of treason that fool. What? What are you? You stunned or something? What is this? Dazed. Okay. Yes? Nail these guys. Actually, nail this guy. Where's Adair? Right there. Pelagina? I'm ready. Where are you? Hit this guy. What am I? I'm uh. whispering of treason. Let's do it. Uh. Okay, there we go. Now turn around and hit this guy. What? Yes. Turn your holy radiance on. And then do something like defense right here. Hi. Aloth, smack these guys. I'm ready. Yeah, you just need to hit that guy. Oh, oh, rock. Rock. Okay. Oh. Aloth, you got some more of that? Oh, yeah, that thing is really great for that, isn't it? Let's see. You want to burn these guys down or you can do how close do you have to be no that's too close Come back. do this doink launch that sure what else do we need for you offense doink okay good dead pelagina Attack this guy. Hmm. Oh. I'm gonna run over here. Okay, no, 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 don't do that yet. Do this. An ally, right there on him. What? What do you got? You got your crossbow out? Good. Who are these guys? Justicia. How may I help? Okay. Cool. 
to zap these guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's just a riot. Oh, that kills so well. I gotta, I gotta not, I gotta not harm anybody else here that doesn't need harm. Do I have paralysis if I don't? Oh, I don't want to harm anybody else. <laughs> that was awesome. That spell is so good. Oh, man. God dang. Yeah, that was fantastic. That's the way we like it. Pick some stuff up. Oh, there was a note there, wasn't there? What was that note type thing? Yeah, was it one of these things? Edict of the Rest. Okay, not that one. Let's do... Is there a date? Oh, it doesn't do date. That's what sucks. Dang it. Okay, there was probably one of these. Scrawled note. Detailed description of you, including your name, distinguishing features. That's probably what it was. Because there's this other one. And this one. Scrawled letter. Okay. Full vein. All right. Yeah, they were looking for us. Um, let's go up here and sell a bunch of junk. Pat again. Show me your wares, darling. Let's go sell value. Low to high. Let's give it all of that and that. I'll do those later. Those more unique ones. Right now, I just want to do this. Trade and one of, yeah. And a bunch of hoods. Okay. All right, that's good. Group. Hustle. And then off to the deer wood. Bishop, my do? man. Can I get a room? Just give me the cheap common room, please. And away we go. Fairly uneventful little episode here. But people leveled up. That was cool. So where can we go from here? There's the Wooden Plains and there's Deerford Village. But we have to go through the Wooden Plains to get there, I think. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let's look at this. What about what we're building? The Weaver Song. Kana. Okay, so, Bona said his body was never found and she was presumed to have died. However, a veil and merchant in Defiance Bay recently recognized some of Bona Seda's unmistakable, unmistakable work in an otherwise unremarkable shipment of textiles. He spoke with others and learned that several shipments to different merchants bore the same telltale patterns. Now, many merchants believe that Bonacetta is being held captive somewhere and is trying to communicate through her work. Whatever the message is, none has been able to decipher it nor where it's coming from. Kana found surprising resistance to inquiries regarding the whereabouts of Bonacetta. Whoever had taken her wanted to keep her location a secret. At the behest of the du Duchess of Spirento, a team of alien cryptographers attempted to decipher the fragments of Bonacetta's weaving messages. In turn, they communicated those leads to Kana. After several brutal fights against well-trained mercenaries, Kana reached Bonacetta's prison, a weaving house near Girara. The Valen textile company that had abducted her was immediately cast out of all the Valen republics, great and small. Thanks for saving her, Bonacetta wove an enchanted cloak for Connor's journey back to Cadnua. And it is this. It's plus five all defenses, plus 30 max endurance, plus three damage reduction. Nice. We want that. We want to go get that. So, and then, is this done? The barracks is finished in three hours. Okay. Well, in that case, let's go to the Wooden Plains and see where that is. Let 
Barracks construction complete. And so the next thing that we're recommended to build here, we have all these things completed. So there's the tower. It's saying, this guide is saying, Botanical Garden, where is that? Did we do that one yet? Curio Shop we completed. Botanical Garden. So this gets you free herbs for every stronghold turn. Adair, Heravis, and Zahua will appreciate this. There's the Warden's Lodge. Try to get this upgrade when you hit level 7 to 10. Because the bounties can be quite hard and they will give you some of the best items in the game. Ooh, then let's go for the Warden's Lodge. I want that. We're level 7. And I would like to do some bounty hunting. That would be great. Okay. Where are we at here? We just got to mosey on through town here. Okay. It's part of the map. A woman you remember from Brackenberry strides over to you. The hem of her robe is torn and covered in burrs. You could have just refused. You could have forgotten all about the theorems of Pandagram. But you had to go and tell Grimda. Her voice trembles and she clutches at her hair with shaking hand. I know you're prone to strong opinions, but I had no idea you'd launch a personal crusade about me. Ugh, get over it. No matter. Okay. Well then, in that case... Hmm. Can I get one of you guys over here, wizard, to do that? Hmm? Interdict them. I'm ready. You're going to theorem a pan your gram your way right there and slam well. her. You're going to go do that. You're going to go kick her. Yes. And Aeloth, you're going to smack down right there. Just launch like that. Or do... Um... Or maybe just run over here. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Okay, hold on. In that case. Oh. Pelagina killed Nedian. <laughs> well. That was fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. What? Uh, just shoot, buddy. I don't think we're going to have to do well, much else. Yeah. Where am I? I'm okay. I'm right over this way. Attack this guy. Steal some of his juice. There's nothing for you there. Oh, we got somebody up. Oh, we don't have enough paralysis yet. Now we do. Oh my god, this spell is so funny. Oh, what is this? A fine wand. It's a fine wand, I say. What is this little ring here? What are these books? Let's see, they're probably all the same. Probably all the same. What do they got in them? Anything you don't have? Noxious burst? Okay. 300 copper, you can learn that. Yeah, they're all the same. It's a fine wand, though. Aloth, what do you got? You got a fine scepter. It is what? 11 is 17 crush. Compare this. Fast, fast. 10 meters, 10 meters. 11 is 17. Pierce crush. And this is crush slash the scepter. So we probably want to keep that. Everything else is more or less the same. Crush slash is better damage, so. Mm-hmm. Because there's stuff that's doesn't like piercing. Well, keep grabbing everything. Well then, ladies and germs. I was not expecting to be accosted on the road over here. That was unexpected. Is there anything up in here? I don't think there is, but what the hell? We'll go look. Just to clear the map there. Pull of Aora. That is funny. I like that spell. Alright, so Stormwall Gorge is next. Okay. 
Folks, this is where I'm going to leave this episode. It's going to be a little bit short, but I like this. Plus, I need food. <laughs> so I'm going to go eat. Thanks for watching, everyone. As always, if you dig it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Leave your questions and comments down below. Tweak that algorithm, and I'll see you next time. Until then, happy gaming, everyone.